Ever wanted to try out some new Procreate brushes? There's so many awesome ones out there to try, so knowing how to install and use Procreate brushes is pretty handy. Hi, I'm Daisy from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this video, I'll show you how to install and use Procreate brushes. Once you know how to do this, you can try out all kinds of brushes. Before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. There's some really awesome Procreate brushes to check out over there, and they're all included with unlimited downloads, so you can grab brushes, fonts, graphics, all kinds of stuff, for commercial use too, with one subscription. Check out the link in the description to get started. Now let's talk about brushes. We're going to use this Procreate brush set here, called Fabulous Pencils. First things first, you need to download your brush onto your iPad. Navigate to where you saved it on your device. Once you've found the brush, simply tap on it and it'll automatically install and load up right into Procreate. Nice and simple, right? So let's look at Procreate now. Open up your brush library and take a look at the list. Here's my new brushes, right here in its own section. They're all installed and ready to use. It's that easy. We can also customize these brushes. We don't have to stick to how they are right out the box. For example, here's your brush size, over here on the left, at the top. Just tap and drag to increase or decrease your brush size. And here's your brush opacity beneath it. The same applies here. Just tap and drag to raise or lower the brush opacity. We also have the full list of brush customization we'd normally see in Procreate. Just tap on the brush to go inside and start adjusting. We also have another tutorial on that, how to create and customize Procreate brushes. So check that out in the description below if you'd like to learn more. So how about we give these new brushes a spin? I'll share a time lapse of my illustration process with you. In this illustration, I decided to draw a witch. I started with Sussy B's pencil from this Procreate brush set. I always start with a sketch like this so I can get a feel for my composition. To fill in the shapes, I jumped to the big chunky lead brush on a new layer. Personally, I like to isolate my colors on different layers. Then I can easily lower the opacity to start drawing in other details on an upper layer. I used Frankie and Bonnie's pencil from the Procreate brushes we just installed for some of these details. For the background, I used Big 4B Lead, one of the larger brushes. And for some of the lighting, I used a new layer with the blending mode set to multiply. Big Chunky Lead was a fun brush to use here. Then I turned back to Sussy B's pencil for some highlights and final details. There's so many fun brush sets out there you could try. Thanks for checking out this one with me. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can also click the little bell icon to turn notifications on too. And check out our channel for even more tutorial content. See you next time.